Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we're going to have a review of the Google Chrome browser, the 64-bit version which is called uh, by the code name Google Chrome Canary. Now be warned before you install it and before you do anything. This is a beta version so that means it's an incomplete version of Google Chrome. But it is available for anyone who wants to download it and all you have to do is simply go on any Google page and type Chrome Canary and you should actually see in the result, the, the search results, uh, download Google Chrome Canary. Now it is available only for Windows 7 and Windows 8 so if you have an older version of Windows uh, Vista 64 bits for example, it's not going to work. It is the same install type and actually I put a video online on how to install it if you want to try it. The first things that you'll notice is once you've installed it on your computer you'll have two icons. You'll have Google Chrome Canary which will be a golden uh, yellow icon and you'll still have your old Google Chrome 32 bits and that's good you don't want to replace yet the 32 bit version of Chrome with the 64 bits uh, because it's a beta version there could be problems with it I personally will try to use the 64 bit version as much as possible um, but as of yet the first observations I have is that it didn't crash once downloaded a lot of pages that I've viewed I've used it a lot no crashes have occurred um, and usually I've noticed that Google beta version of their software are usually very very uh, stable and uh, probably they tested a lot before they really release any versions but you still need to be warned that it's a beta version so it can crash and actually on the web page where you download Chrome it does say Google Chrome Canary has the newest of the new Chrome features be forewarned it's designed for the developers and early adopters and can sometimes break down completely so you have to be warned with that now we've been having and using computers 64-bit capable machines for a while and actually um, most Windows 7 and pretty much every Windows 8 machines are 64-bit enabled and you might ask yourself why would I want to use a 64-bit version of Chrome instead of the 32-bit it goes on quite well well first of all if you are a newbie or if you are someone that's not very tech savvy uh, I think the best thing to do is to keep your 32-bit version for now because the 32-bit version is a tried and true um, browser and you it doesn't crash it works very, very well and there's no reason for that push right now but there will eventually I think once Google Chrome 64 bits is going to be official release that will be the time where it's going to be uh, important to push to a 64-bit environment for those of you that aren't sure want to try it why but still ask yourself I don't understand why we should go to a 64-bit version well uh, the first thing that a 64-bit environment in Chrome brings is the fact that it is much much more secure 64-bit versions of operating system 64-bit versions of software are more difficult to hack because of the way they've been programmed and because of the way uh, of the enhanced protection that some of that programming can bring into the operating system so the first thing is security Google Chrome 64 bits does promise more secure browsing and actually Google Chrome is in general has a pretty good record on security uh, it's one of the most secure browsers and the best browsers out there for right now 
and uh, I've actually been using Google Chrome for a long time. I actually, it is my browser, my favorite browser. The 64-bit version brings the security, and that's nice. 64-bit version, maybe not right now, because it's still in beta version, but once it's going to be the official release, promises uh, a more stable environment, less crashes, less problems as you use it. And uh, third is that the 64-bit version of Google Chrome will also load pages faster and execute itself faster in your computer. And I've actually seen that already by going to different pages that I know are a little heavy on the downloads and how they show up. I must say that I'm pretty impressed with Google Chrome 64 bits. It is faster. It is better in the uh, operations uh, than the 32-bit versions. Um, not by that much. I mean, if you use 32 and 64, there is a difference in speed, but that difference is not one an incredible one, but it is there and it is noticeable. So that's one thing also that's pretty cool about the 64-bit version of Google Chrome. What's cool also is that it doesn't replace your 32-bit version, so it hangs side by side. You get the golden yellow icon, you still keep your 32-bit. What's interesting is when you pin it to the start screen, and I'll show you here, the icon is not golden yellow, and that, that surprised me a little bit. I was expecting a yellow canary icon, but it gave out that same icon on the start screen in Windows 8. But it is named Google Chrome Canary instead of Google Chrome so it gives you that little difference but it's easy to mistake if you don't watch carefully and i don't understand why they didn't put that golden yellow icon actually in the start screen for um, windows 8. overall it didn't crash overall it works perfectly it is practically the same uh, as windows as the 32-bit version, sorry. Um, once you've logged on to your Gmail account, if you have one, your, uh, you know, all your favorites, everything is synchronized. Everything works exactly like it worked before. Um, so, pretty much, uh, I find that the uh, Google Chrome 64-bit works quite well. And, um, of course, keep the operating system or the... Uh, Chrome browser up to date so every time there's an update it usually goes uh, update to make sure that the browser is always getting the latest versions so that if it crashes it has problems um, for the rest well if you want to try it there's no reason not to try it uh, because it does operate uh, parallel to the 32 bits so it doesn't change anything in your old version and um, the 64 bit version if you don't like it you can still un uninstall it or just wait for an update uh, Google promises that the official stable version release will be before the end of the year so it probably all adds up because when you install it for the first time it's actually going to tell you do you want to accept that uh, Chrome sends diagnostic information to uh, Google. And so I've, I've kept that little, uh, I often take it out, but in this case, I've left the little check mark. So if it crashes or it has some problems, it will send uh, that information to Google and it will help them to make a stable version of Google Chrome. So overall, uh, more security. We also have faster browsing and um, with this version as of now for me no crashes but if you do experience some crashes uh, don't worry it is normal for a beta version and wait for subsequent uh, updates and that will probably fix everything as for the rest it's pretty much the same still has the same menus settings and stuff it's practically impossible to know that you're in the 64-bit um, version unless you click about Google 
and notice that it says Canary at the end of the version. So uh, if you aren't sure which version, you can go and check that out. But apart from that, it works really, really, really nice. So that's the uh, review of Google Chrome 64 bits, or what we call Google Chrome Canary. And if you uh, feel like you'd like to try out some version of 64-bit Chrome, why not go and get it by downloading it? It's available for everyone. And uh, like I said, there's no reason why not, why you shouldn't try it since it doesn't affect the old version of Chrome. If you like our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8, a problem with Windows 8, something you'd like us to talk about. Let us know. We'll try to put that video online. And hopefully, you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching. And bye-bye.